M8RS. So looking at the box itself, you can tell it's designed to look premium, and its collaboration with UI and Porsche, shows you just that. So inside the box itself, you get the device, obviously you get cards, that shows you certification for the collaboration. And when you take out that top cover, you get a bunch of accessories. So you get a flip cover designed by Porsche. You also get two charging bricks, one is for UK and the other one is for US2 USB Type-C cables. And a pair of headphones as well the Mate RS has a 6 inch full view OLED display, with a on the face of it, the Mate RS is similar to the Huawei P20 Pro. There's a Kirin 970 platform with 6GB of RAM, but it gets 256GB of storage at a base level. You can opt for 512GB of storage. But there's more to the Mate RS than meets the eye. Being Porsche design, the company has gone all out when it comes to high-end tech, adopting cooling microcapsules. The kind you'd find in an astronaut space suit, according to a spokesperson, that helped to disperse heat from the processor. When these capsules absorb heat, their form changes to aid dispersing of heat, to cool the device much quicker. How well this cooling technology actually works, however, seems to be a bit of a mixed bag. We've seen a number of Porsche Design Mate RS devices, and not all of them have stayed cool by any measure likely just pre-launch teething problems. There's a similar sentiment to the dual fingerprint scanners. The physical one on the rear is typical of Huawei Mate convention, sat in the perfect spot for easy handling, and without wiping a stray finger all over the cameras either, which is helpful. The under the display scanner is something new. But it's also a somewhat strange arrangement, because its function is one and the same. So it's doubling up the feature in a different location, which doesn't seem very Porsche design in terms of design logic. Furthermore, the under-the-screen fingerprint scanner just isn't nearly as responsive as the one on the rear. And as it's placed so centrally in the screen, too, its use feels strange and unnatural. When it does work, it's also not nearly as fast as the traditional scanner on the rear. So on the one hand we love the future-facing boldness of the second scanner, how it eludes the future tech of smartphones. But, here and now, the technology just isn't up to scratch, with what people will expect. Perhaps we should think of it as a precursor to similar inclusion in the future handset, perhaps the Mate 20? But for a Porsche design product to include it in the state, feels like it's overreaching. Where the Mate RS continues to looks, to knock it out of the park with its 4000 mAh battery. This is the same capacity as the Huawei P20 Pro and it lasts really well. Although we don't think quite as long as its Huawei cousin, largely down to its screen, we suspect. Nonetheless, that large capacity certainly converts to lots of use time, fear not. So while there's space age tech aplenty, there's no micro SD card slot, or 3.5mm headphone jack. In high-end flagship phones, these features seem to be a common absence in 2018, so you'll need to use the Type-C USB port for audio, as well as charging, unless you opt for wireless charging. Although the onboard speakers, and connected headphones also support Dolby Atmos for an immersive.